Hey students, this is Emmanuel Anthony and you are watching my YouTube channel English as a Second Language in Pakistan. In this 28th lecture of Goodbye Mr. Chips, we are going to study some script from chapter number 6. This text is on page number 13 and we are going to read from the third long paragraph, first nine lines from line number 20. To 29. As I read the text for you, I'll also be explaining you the ideas, concepts shared in these lines, and I'll also provide you synonyms in context. Are you ready? And then came this astonishing girl wife, whom nobody had expected. Mr. Chips, when he married the girl, was almost touching the 50th year of his life. He was more than 45, maybe 40, 45, 48 years old. He was quite an advanced age. He was at an advanced age and no one had expected that he would marry a girl so young of this age. She came to his life. Least of all, least of all, least of all chips himself. This chunk, least of all Chips himself, means that Chips did not expect this girl in his life. She made him to all appearances, to all appearances, this part of the sentence means that from all aspects. Externally, she made him to all appearances a new man. From every point of view, she was, she changed him to be a new person though most of the newness was really a warming to life of things that were old imprisoned and unguessed in this sentence the author is telling us that most of newness that came in mr chips it was not something new she polished the older things in his personality to form this newness. What she changed was oldness in him. Imprison means old fashionedness, old thinkings, and unguessed, unthinkable. He his eyes gained sparkle. Sparkle, shine. They became more shiny. His mind which was adequately, if not brilliantly, equipped. Equipped, he, it was staffed enough. His mind had enough knowledge. His mind had enough thoughts to get polished by a new person to be renewed. He had enough knowledge, enough thoughts in his mind. They, his mind was adequately equipped, if not brilliantly. Brilliantly means magnificently, too good, but adequately means enough, only enough. His mind was enough good to be polished. She began to move more adventurously, his mind in the presence of his wife started thinking, started moving more, more uh, magnificently, more boldly, the richness to which his years lent maturity. The one thing he had always had a sense of humor, and there was another thing which a teacher must have, at least to some extent. The one thing he had always had. A sense of humor. A sense of humor means <coughs> you have ability to make other people laugh. Now this is a very essential ability a teacher should have and it is even more important for a language teacher to have it. He has to explain text to students he has to explain the meanings of the difficult words. He also has to relate the ideas in the text to students.
students everyday life. So, teacher must have a sense of humor and chips had it. Blossomed after the marriage when this girl came into Mr. Chip's life, his ability of humor, his ability to make other people laugh, his sense of humor, it even grew brighter, it even grew more stronger, it increased into a certain richness to which his years led maturity. He began to feel a greater strength. After marriage, the, the married life <coughs> made him a stronger person. Why? He feels stronger because his discipline improved. Now, discipline was Mr. Chis Chip's issue from the very first day he joined the Brookfield School. He could not maintain discipline in the class. He could not maintain discipline in overall his pedagogical profession to, the, to a point to which it could become, in a sense, less rigid. Now, now he was less rigid. Rigid means to be fundamental. To, rigid means to have no, to have, uh, no flexibility for students. For when you have flexibility, when you have ability to handle other people, to change your habits for the sake of the situation, you are not rigid. To be rigid is a negative capability. It's a negative ability. Rigid means that you have old type of ideas and you are not able to accept the change. So after marriage, Chips improved his discipline by not being rigid. It means that his relationship to the boys, his ability to control the boys, it was no more rigid. It means that he was able to control the boys without being strict and harsh. He became more popular when he had first come to Brookfield, he had aimed to be loved. When he joined Brookfield as a teacher, he wanted students to love him, honored. He wanted students to honor him and obey. And he wanted students to obey him, but obeyed at any rate. And out of these three demands out of these three objectives or dreams he wanted students to love him he wanted students to honor him he wanted students to obey him with the passage of time chips was only able to make students obey him student it means that student did not love him student did not honor him now the last two things loving and honoring they came in his life in his professional life after his marriage this is for today i hope you enjoyed this lesson please show your feedbacks in the comment section have a very nice time thank you